I have to cry sometimes. So much trouble makes me cry sometimes. I live awake at night, but that's alright. Cause I know Jesus after a while. Alright, listen to this, thanks God. We're gonna go listen, uh, get to uh, Psalms, Psalms 15 real quick. We're going to do something in Psalm 15, and then we're going to go into Proverbs a little bit. And I just want you to hear what the scripture is saying here. These are things that have just been dropped on me in a hurry. Look, I was at home studying something else. You know how you, you know, prepare something with the Bibles. I didn't have the Bible. I heard a certain preacher say, some people prepare the message, but we need to prepare ourselves for the message. Amen. Because God has to be. But Psalm 15, it's uh, it's just a short little psalm. And there's the first couple of the question here that the Lord, that David is asking in this psalm. And he says here in 15 of 1, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, and who shall dwell in thy holy hill? Here's the answer. He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is content, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not, he that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent, he that doeth these things shall never be moved. Yeah. 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 What the scripture is saying. There's a whole lot of people thinking they're going to go to heaven just doing what they want to do. But we got to stop doing what we were used to doing. We have to give back all of our worldliness. Give it back. We have to give it all back to the devil because that's who was giving it to us. And when we do that, once we make up our minds not to do that anymore, then we can fulfill these things. And it says, he that, he that, uh, uh, who shall dwell in thy holy? He that walketh uprightly. That means follow the word. Find out what the word is going to tell you to do. And do that thing. And say to God, let's not wait to do it. Let's do it the day you hear my voice, heart, not your heart. As you see the light, walk therein. So as the Bible is being revealed to you, bring, take that thing, embrace that thing, and pull it to you. And let that spirit begin to work in you. Yes. You know, I, I just I, I, I just like the, the, the way the spirit moves on people who have the spirit. Thank because you, uh, I was just listening to Brother Istawah. And you know what? Now, I heard the same thing that you were saying about the anointing in her testimony. Mm -hmm. I was feeling the same thing. I didn't speak it. But, that you know, that's the connection. Amen. And that just lets you know that one of the things that stood out to me is that she said that she's not, she's going to trust God for everything. Yes. God is the source of her life. Yes. He is the source of our life. Yes. We have to give God yes. all that he is all entitled to. Yes. What is that? Us. Yes. That's the greatest sacrifice you can make. Is present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable yes. unto God. So listen, everybody who's lifted up holy hands, if that heart is not right, Sister Jeanette was talking about that thing. If that heart got something in there that is not God, then that, you can take them hands down because there's just not going to be a response. But if you got a clean heart and a pure heart, then you're going to receive whatever it is you are asking God for. And it cannot fail because God is his word and he cannot go back on himself. Amen. So if you got a clean heart, and listen, saints of God, when trouble comes into your life, Instead of looking out to see who caused the trouble, look in here and see if maybe I might be the reason Amen. that something's going on. Right? Yeah, because see, the whole thing about mankind, and this is, this is because this is induced by Satan, when trouble comes, we look to see who caused the trouble. And that's why we get to looking around. And that's why churches, be, you know, and, and people leave church. Why? They don't leave church because of the word. They leave church because of somebody in the Bible, in, in the church, who is not living the Bible. But that's not my job to live the Bible for you. I have to live it for myself. Amen. So the Bible tells us, save yourself from this untoward generation. Yes. Let us not compare ourselves among ourselves because we will not be able to live a completely holy life 
looking into other people's lives Amen. instead of into our own. So think about that thing. Right? Think about that thing. And let me tell you something. God is not a God that He's going to come up short. Mm -hmm. No, but whatever you ask Him, God's got a time set. Yes, He does. He's got a time set. But let me tell you something else. At that point in time, you better be there to receive what God has for you. Yes. You know, I like to use the example. You know, uh, 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 I, I used to do the little illustration, and we're, we're we're asking God for something. Okay, we're asking Him for something, and it hasn't come yet. And we're just getting a little discouraged. And we just keep asking, but it's not coming. So we're still walking, okay? And we're still praying and asking God to help us. And all of a sudden, we get there right to the point. We don't know where it is, right? Because God is the only one that knows where that appointed time is. Yes. But I'm right there. And all of a sudden, that devil convinces me, look, he ain't going to answer your prayer. And all I do, need to do is take one more step to get there, oh, and now I turn. And I turn and I go, I go back there. I'm going back away from my deliverance. Okay? So that's why we want to keep pressing forward. I press toward the mark for the prize of a high calling in Christ Jesus. Don't let that devil turn you around and say to God, I don't care where you are right now in the Lord. You're in the Lord. Why? Because you're in the church house. God, you know, the Satan didn't get, he didn't bring nobody to church today. God, no, that fellow's not going to see you in church. He's going to, if you come to church, as one of his adversaries, you're going to be a this one that's so discord. Because he's got some people in church too, you know. Yeah, because he has to send them. Because he's got to send people to try to discourage the ones who are trying to get somewhere. And everybody in the Word of God and in the Bible, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the body of Christ, is not fully strengthened yet. So some weak ones can be turned. That's what I'm talking about. And that's who the devil's trying to focus on, the weak ones. That's why you've got to keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. When trouble comes, when people do something to you, you understand it's not them, it's what's working in them. Yeah. Don't you see this? Yes, you do see this. It's not the body, it's not the person, it's not the physical person, it's the spirit that is being that is controlling that person. That's why we don't get upset with people. And that's why we got, we're told in the Bible that we are we're, we're, we're pray for our, uh, uh, do good to them who despitefully use it. You know what it says in the, in, in, in the, in the yes. Beatitudes. Yes. Yeah, that's what it says. And, and God is telling, showing us how we are to live for him. Amen. Uh, and then the first example that we have is that he died for the entire world yes. before any of us knew who he was. Yes. Gave his life, and he also knew that once he died and gave his life and brought people his word, his saving word, there were going to be people who were going to be rejecting that saving word Amen. and still won't live for him. Okay, but he did it anyway. And that same spirit has to be in us. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So what does that mind do? That mind went all the way to the cross. Say to God, let us go all the way to the cross. Let us, go. Let us carry the weight. Let us carry. Let people be talking about you. Let people do things to you. Let people say things. Let them do it. And pray for them, say to God. That's what you do. You pray for them. You pray and ask God to give them the right way. So that they'll know how to do it. And listen, yeah. sometimes the Lord will cut somebody off or else he will turn them and they'll understand, hear what you said, and instead of cutting them off, he'll save them. Huh? Because you, the Jesus. life that we live is the only Jesus that people in darkness are going to see. Amen. Okay? He ain't coming no more except to get to church. But he needs to have him, he needs to have us represent him Amen. now. Amen. You got to act like him, Amen. walk like him. You know, we used to sing that song, I want to be like Jesus. You know we sing, I want to be like Jesus. How I long to be like him. Uh, and then we're going wide. Uh, get mad, fuss. Now go play the lottery. In the name of Jesus. Uh, do all these things that are not godly. But we want to be like him. Amen. And the only way we can be like him is that we have to come out of self Amen. and let him come in. That's what it says to God. That's how simple it is. Goodness, I'm almost done. Let me go to Proverbs. Proverbs, the third chapter. We know all this. God is just going to drop this on us right now. Lord, who shall abide in that tabernacle? Oh, he that walketh uprightly. Yeah. He that walketh uprightly. And uh, I work with that work of righteousness, speaking the truth in his heart. Solomon's going to talk to his son over here in Proverbs 20, Proverbs 3. And it's 
third chapter, I'm going to start reading in verse 1 of Proverbs. It says, My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart. Now listen to this, saints of God. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Come on. This is the answer to your problem with yeah. people. You know, and listen, that is listen, you know, why do we always teach Elder King? Because Elder King will get you, you know, if you see, if you have to go somewhere, if you have an appointment, next time you have in the, in the shop right. And if you have to leave and you see him coming, just start running. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm just going to say, just take off. <laughs> just take off. If you have to, if you have to duck, just yeah. go out Because he's going to get you. And you know he's going to get you. And it ain't because he don't he ain't trying to stop you. It's just that he loves you. Yeah. He wants to, he's glad to see you. And he wants to share something with you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. yeah, that fella called me last night. Uh, just for a minute. <laughs> you know, you, all you called for was to ask how my wife was and how I was doing. All that took was an answer. We're fine. Thank you very much. And then, and then, the conversation started. <laughs> so it was a good, uh, well, 20, 25 minutes. He talked. And the only reason I got it, he got off the phone is because my other phone rang. So, Thank God for all the kids. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, there are too many people don't have time for you. It's the truth, man. There are too many people don't have time to take up with you because they're too busy doing what they want to do. And the other kids going, to say, look, he ain't he got good things to say. He ain't talking to trash neither. Amen. All right, listen to this book here. So shall I find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Okay? Trust, this is what I want you to listen to. Trust in the Lord with as much of your heart as you can do. Oh, oh, well, you read that, then that, you just give him all of that. Yes. Just give it to him. He wants all of you. Huh? You are, again, one of his favorite creations. Right. Oh, Amen. And he wants to bless you. Listen, Amen. God wants to do for us exactly what we want plus. Amen. Because he already said, you, don't, you haven't seen anything yet. I want to bless you down here. But if, when I get, if, if you hold on down here, I'm going to show you something when you get to where my son is. Uh, yeah, buddy. So this is where he said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. Just you look. If we knew how to get hope, how to live a holy life, it, we wouldn't have needed Jesus. Amen. Uh, Amen. Our righteousness, all the good that we did before Jesus came into our lives, God cannot use any of that. No, no, it no. is all considered filthy rags. Okay, so again, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Saints of God, listen to this Bible. This is the peace that's in Christ Jesus. Yes. You can give him everything. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about your decisions. You have to make Jackie whatever you're going to start this, this, this meeting this appointment. It's a done deal. Amen. Amen. It's a done deal. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You know, and I, well, you know, I, I ain't going to put it that, that way. Because, you know, they got a thing out there, name it and claim it kind of thing. That's another version of the gospel. But what I'm saying is, if I give it to him, just trust that he's going to receive it and do the right thing. Amen. That's all. Hey, yes, Lord. Yes, so he's going to do the right thing. Amen. Yeah, so again, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Yes. Listen, be not wise in thine own eyes. We can't, we don't have the right answer to anything. Yes. So if we're asked a question and we don't have the answer, it is fair and safe to say, I don't know. But I'll look into it and get back to you. Amen. Okay. Now, after I've done that, then make sure you get back to whoever it is you were talking to. Amen. So that they can understand that you are sincere about what you're doing for yes. me or what you yes. said. You know, how, you know now, now, don't, don't put your hand up. But have you ever said that they said, see, see somebody and say, oh, hey, thank you, Lord. Good to see you. We're going to pray for you. Uh oh. Uh, no, no, no. And go on about your business. <laughs> 
get all of that on the time. Yeah. See, that's why we want to make sure we, we, we're, being, we're being led by the Spirit. Yes. You know, we're being led by the Spirit so that we won't do anything that contradicts what God is and he's not really asking us to do. He isn't really commanding us. He's telling us. Why? Because we need to know how to live a godly life for him. Amen. So again, it's not, a, it's not an invitation. You know, It's a commandment. Yes. If you're going to be a child of God, you have to do certain things. Amen. And again, it goes on to say, Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Listen, listen. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. This is a good thing. You know, the saints of God, this is where our health comes from. Having faith in God. Yeah. You know, that's why Elder Wall screws his pills away. Yeah, you know, he just throws them away. He let the doctor give them to him. But he just throws them away because he don't put his trust in, in the Lord. Yeah. You know? And let me say this. Don't throw all your pills away if you don't have that kind of faith. Amen. Amen. You know, really, because the pills are there for something. You know, that God gave them doctors some knowledge. They don't know, they don't have the ability to heal, but they can treat the symptoms. You know, but we got somebody in here who can heal. Yes. And, and, and carry, and carry and, and, and the thyroid condition. Yeah. And she got in line. She said, I'm getting, I'm getting rid of this thing. Amen. Got in line, and that thyroid condition went away. Doctor said, you're going to have to take medication for the rest of your life. How old are you now? How old am I? Yeah. I'll be 87 right. next month. It's been a long time not to take your medicine. Amen. That's a long time not to take your medicine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and God said, she don't take that medicine. Amen. The thyroid thing tried to come back and she wouldn't claim it. Amen. And he just came and went. You know? Amen. So I'm saying God will do his part. Yes. If we would do our part. But yes. Is Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and all thy ways and knowledge in and he shall direct thy paths. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Yes. Honor the Lord with the sub with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thy increase. Listen, whatever you get in, okay. Now we the tithing is more than just money, but if you have property or land or something, you can tithe that. I know a lot of modern churches have people who have property, and they'll tithe part of that that property. You know, maybe a, a, a acre or two. That, help something else, maybe uh, build something on that property to, for the church. Mm -hmm. But we, we, you know, we don't have that. But here's the thing. Whatever you, whatever God sends your way, okay, you break off the first 10% of it. Just break it off and give it back to it. Thank you, Jesus. And what's he doing? He said, look, now look I'm going to, number one, I'm going to give you a job. And I'm going I'm to give you an increase. Yeah. And in order for me to bless you so that you can be a blessing, I'm going to let you keep 10% of it. And I'm going to take that. I'm going to let you keep 90%. And I'll take the 10% and multiply that back to you. Amen. you God, it is a process that cannot fail. Amen. I'm telling you this. Look, I'm telling myself. I'm, I know you've told me. I've heard you this before. Have you heard this? Yeah. Because I would not pay tithes when I learned that I had to pay tithes because the tithe money was the money I needed to buy my marijuana. <laughs> it was the exact same amount. <laughs> and I think, boy, if I pay my tithes, I'm going to be without my vision. Yeah. Uh, but I kept reading the book. Amen. And Elder, Elder never pushed it. Yeah. Because he didn't want to make people, have people thinking that it was all about the money. Amen. But what he was trying to get us to see is that the principle, Amen. the principle, you got yeah. to take on the principle yeah. and watch God do it. It's a faith Amen. walk. And I don't know how he yeah. does this. Yes. But, God, the, but look, not only will God, he, not only will he cause an increase to come to you, he'll cause people to give you stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He'll yes. cause men just from that one little faithful act. You know, and once Amen. the wife and I started tithing money, the things started happening. Amen. I got too much stuff now. Amen. I'm Jesus. telling you, too much stuff. I don't have no great big bank account, but I tell you what, I could sell something in the house and buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> if she would let me sell some of her clothes in the closets, boy, I could give me another Hummer. <laughs> yeah. But then she just got, we got, look, I, 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 I'm going to leave you out of this out. Okay. <laughs> You're out, okay. But I happened to go down to his basement one day. Lord, <laughs> we try, try to get down there. But that's a good basis. Yeah. And the wife, the wife wants every piece that's down there. 
that everything is damn near equal. She thinks it's very important. That's in one of the discussions. I'm going to use the the same question. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my wife said to me, well, after all I've given away, you still don't think I, you still think I got too much. Yeah. Yeah, because what she gave away was excess. <laughs> and she did give it away too, but it didn't touch it. It didn't touch that inventory, buddy. So let's go. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thy increase. So shall thy barns be filled. This is what we're talking about. With plenty. But you don't have barns, but you've got refrigerators and cupboards. Uh, and God will fill them things up. Yes, he will. Uh, I'm telling you now, he'll fill them things up. Look, the wife and I got stuff now that we've been getting, and it's just in, in downstairs. We don't even use it. because. But if something ever happened, and I needed to eat something, I can go downstairs and open up something and eat something. It may not be what I get every day. But when things get tough around here, buddy, you know, when this, when, when this, when this, 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 global system stretches out and really comes into force. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a whole lot of people going to be glad they got Amen. some old dry beans That's up there in the cabin. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, got some, 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 uh, some uh, eight-year-old tuna, tuna cans. Uh -huh. yeah. Look, I opened up one of them tuna fish cans, but it wasn't up but water. Uh -huh. I said, what is this? I couldn't even make a tuna solid because it was just water. But I'll tell you what. If it gets to where that's all I got, <laughs> I'm going to sop that water out of that tuna <laughs> and make me a sandwich. <laughs> but again, if we do it God's way, he's going to see to it that he replenishes Amen. what we need. That's all it is. And he says, so shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary when he is correct. Listen, oh, there's correction. Because listen, this is the this is important to hear. For whom the Lord loveth, he corrected, even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. If we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing, God is concerned about our final destination. And he is going to do whatever it takes to get us back on track. You know, and the people will tell you, well, God was a God of love. You, you wouldn't go through this, you wouldn't go through that. But you don't know what I've done to cause him to have to do what he's doing. So again, we have to do God's will, God's way, and he's going to see to it that, okay, you did that online now. I might have to allow this to happen or allow that to happen just to get you back online. Amen. So again, my son despised not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary in it of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he corrected, even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. Listen, happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it, of wisdom, is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain, and the gain thereof, than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared to her. To who? To wisdom. Amen. Yeah, because wisdom will help you to get your life saved. Yes. Wisdom will cause you to follow the words of God, yes. the teachings of God, and not the things that the, that the Lord brought you out of. Amen. We only knew wickedness. We only knew iniquity. You know, back in the day, now babies are being born with their eyes open, wide open. Yeah. You know, but in the back of the day, you know, the baby come in and you have to smack it, you know, get him to cry. The first thing the baby gets when he comes into the world is a beating. You know, <laughs> yeah, you, you used to whip that thing, you know, get him to cry, make sure he's alive. But again, that's all we knew because we were on this side of life. When we came into the world, we came into the world on this side of life. Now keep this in mind. We were not sinners when we came into the world. But we were born into sin, and all that we knew was sin. So all we were shaped up in sin. So that's all we knew. And the Lord knew that if he did not come and make a way for mankind to get out of their sinfulness, then all humanity was going to die, go to hell, and ultimately be thrown into the lake of fire. So to avoid that, he took the, the, he, took the, the he paid the price. He took the weight of our sin. Now I want you to think about this thing for God. Jesus died for the, 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 the sins of all humanity. Okay, So that's even the people who haven't come into the world yet because they're going to be born into the same sin. So here's what's going on. 
He has died and he has made it possible for mankind to receive salvation even though they were born in sin. They don't know anything about him because all they're learning is him. It's, it's, it's what Satan is introducing to them. So that's why it is so important that we live a godly life. Amen. So that people can see that there is another way in to live this life. Amen. Because you were, we, look, the, my aunt again, she was a big, a big influence on me coming into the church. I'm telling you, because she, she look at her, she still saved. And, I never, and she used to love the fish. Uh, and listen, look, my, my auntie had a, my other aunt, I had a note, and my sister Brenda. They used to go deep sea fishing with us, right? So, you know, in the deep sea fishing boat, you know, all the guys up there, they were just big guys. And they wanted to know, well, why y'all got dresses on? Because Aunt Carrie would go to fishing with a dress on. She was, whole, she was a holy fisher person. And she got that with a dress on, yeah. And uh, uh, Sister Brenda, they got a dress on. Them girls be catching fish, too. They don't be playing. I'll be trying to keep up with them, now because they be catching fish. And somebody asked, said, what y'all got dresses on for? And they were trying to tell them what the Bible said. And then they were saying, oh, you let that old preacher tell you that? And they said, it ain't the preacher. It's in the, it's in the book. Amen. <laughs> it's what the word says. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, don't, don't be ashamed of this thing. Amen. Do not be ashamed of this holiness lifestyle. Right. Right? Yeah. Because this is where you get your joy, when you can stand for the righteousness in the word of God. When everybody else is trying to push you away from it, you stand for Jesus. And you know what? When you stand for Jesus, you feel real good about yourself. That's why the mother said when she comes to church, she feels good when she comes into the house. Thank you, Jesus. It's something about it. Amen. Yeah, it's something about it. Everybody in here is going to feel different when they leave. Right? They're going to feel different when they leave. Okay, so again, it, it, it's wisdom will cause us to do things according to the word of God. It says, uh, 16th verse, 11 days is in her right hand. And, uh, and in her left hand, riches and honor. Her ways are the ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. And happy is everyone that retaineth her. And who is she? Wisdom. Yeah. You're just a happy camper. He'll teach you how to shop. He'll teach you how to make decisions for your life, for your family. He will do that. Now, his name is Wisdom or she, but we know that it's him that's doing it. Yes. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, and by understanding hath he established the heavens. Mm -hmm. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, so shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Then shall thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. Say to God, let us not be fearful of anything in Christ Jesus. Did you hear me? Amen. All right now. What he say here? Then shall I walk in thy way safely. God's going to see you through it. Yep. And here's what I'd like for people to understand. In Christ Jesus, wherever we are when the Lord calls us out of this life, we want to be in Christ Jesus. Amen. So just go and do what you have to do and just live your life in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Because when the Lord calls you, that's it. And you won't have time to fix nothing up. you got to have it fixed right now. Faith, confidence, trust. All of my will, I'm giving to him. It's no longer me. It's going to be the Christ within me. So again, we're going to finish up here. Her ways are the ways of pleasantness and all her for peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. And happy is everyone that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom that found in the earth. Now again, let's think about this. The God that we're serving created everything. So without, without any questioning, he has all the knowledge. Amen. So again, if he has all the knowledge and all the understanding about everything, and he created you and me, then what? He knows everything there is to know about us. And that's why we can trust him. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, the devil is not going to let you just trust him without some kind of something. And the devil will take, take some of the Bible because he knows he can't come in without some word. So okay, he'll take some word and he'll, he'll, he'll mix it with some untruth to try to, to distract you from believing the whole truth of God's word. 
you know, you don't have to do this and you don't have to do that. But the Bible says you do. Amen. So again, we want to trust God and do what God says, the way God says do it, and just don't listen to nobody else. You know, just put the blinders on or whatever you have to put on, but just don't listen to things that walk, that speak against what God has left on record. Okay. Then shall thou, uh, uh, yes, uh, 22. So shall there be life unto thy soul and grace unto thy neck. Then shall thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. Then thou, when thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. All right. Oh, we got any insomnia here? Can't go to sleep. Right? Can't, go, can't, can't go to bed. Can't go to sleep. Right? Close the mind. Right? Close the eyes and don't be listening for people coming through the window. Right? Just close your eyes and sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying to God, this is a promise that's given to us. God says, go ahead and rest in me. You know, just let everything be in me. Anyway, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Trust in him. Put all your faith and confidence in him. Whatever you do, do it all. In the, in, uh, on the, in what, or whatever you do in word or deed, do it all what, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I might, let me just read a few more verses, so we're done. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the destruction of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Listen to this. No weapon form. That's what the Bible says. We got so much to stand on, saints of God. No, so much to stand on. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in thy power of thy hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again, and tomorrow I will give when thou hast it by thee. Yeah. Desire, uh, devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwells securely by thee. Strive not with a man without cause, if he have done thee no harm. Envy not, envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the froward is an abomination to the Lord, but his, his, his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesses the habitation of the, of the just. Yes. Surely he scorned the scorners, but he gives grace to the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be in the promotion of fools. The wise, that's why he said, get wisdom. That's it. Because a, a wise person is going to follow God's word. A wise person is going to give up his way, understanding that his way has all been wrong from the beginning. Everything he thought was right was wrong according to God's word. So a wise man is going to give that up. The Bible says the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Okay. But the wise, okay, the wise, the Solomon was saying that in one or two writings, that he was saying even wisdom, okay, even wisdom is vain because with all of his knowledge, he said, I'm going to die just like the fool. But be, being a wise man, you live a life that's pleasing to God. And being a fool, you live a life that's contrary to God's word. So we want to stay with what God has left on record for us. And say to God, just don't quit. Don't give up. Don't take down. Don't change. We did a thing on not too long ago on abiding on the ship. Stay on the boat. Amen. And when you stay on the boat, you're going to receive what God has called.